So, time to make another video uh, tying a fly and uh, today we're gonna have really fun. We're gonna tie Champion from Kelson. I think I'm gonna do it married. I'm not sure yet, but uh, let's see. So, let's start the video. Okay, let's do this Champion. It's gonna be interesting. Um, let me see. Let's start then. Um, oval tinsel in the back uh, that's gonna be extra small so I'm just gonna cut it I forgot to prepare that part there we are just gonna close close this one as well There we go. So, oval silver tinsel extra small as mentioned. Just tie it in. Tie it in underneath the hook. And I'm tying on the 4 O downsizing a bit and then I just continue to tie it in underneath Somewhere there is sufficient, don't need to go the whole way. And then just going back with the thread where I want the silk to start. And on this pattern it's a light blue silk. Don't confuse you with the floss. I don't use floss, I only use proper silk. So, tying it in the whole length actually, I think. Nah, until there. Sorry, just cutting the leftovers there. Then this one has a bit of a twist in it, so just untwist it, tight wraps backwards. There we are, and then forward again. And then I just tie it in and just continue forward. efficient so then I'm just flattening the silk a bit Then going backwards again with the thread. Just building up a bit of foundation. 
and then bump the tail to point upwards. There we are. We took white wax. Prepare the tail. It's, I want it to be straight on. There we are. I'm just Tie the whole thing in, securing it. I'm going back where I started. You need to be careful with the hook point there. Don't ruin the, the thread. There you see, straight on. And we have crimson and blue. So prepare that. It's on. Just cutting this one. And we have unburied wood duck. So I'm gonna take some fibers. much on one side so I'm just gonna remove a few of them They don't want to end up in a fly. But they did anyhow. So I just continue to tie it in until there. Because then I can hide that underneath the seal fur. Doesn't need to be that equal. There we go. Next step ostrich hard. So back with the thread again. 
just gonna make sure we start in the right position everything to be straight nice Tighten accordingly. There we are. So now we can cut that one off. Gonna wax the thread with light wax and going back since we need to attach all the tin cells. And I just remember that I haven't prepared a black hackle, so I need to do that first of all. Since I scale down the hook, uh, instead of a large oval tinsel, I do a uh, medium. with the thread. There we Yes, securing it. I might fish with it, so. Just getting that out of the way. And we have some flat tin cell. Hmm, which one are you gonna take? I think that's too big. it anyhow. Couldn't find the other one. Going back with the thread again. Oh 
I'm at the hook point all the time. That's not good. tying that one in as well. Getting that out of the way. light blue silk again then I'm gonna quickly stop the video prepare a black hackle let's do this one first so just tying it in there is something and then untwist this one how it wraps backwards So let's continue. I'm just gonna go back. We're gonna tie in that. The hacking. There we go. Bit of X. strings so I can attach stuff from another vice. So seal fur time. Uh, dark yellow. It's gonna be four parts of different color seal fur. So we have dark yellow, red, uh, dark blue and black but one color at a time Thank you. 
I think that's sufficient. So I think it's time for red. Yep. Red and then we have blue after that. gonna be a nice looking body a lot of color so red should have a little bit more yellow to be honest so let's redo that I want them to be fairly equal in length clean between each color so I don't get any mix so dark blue I'm gonna see how everything come together and building or creating a nice looking body to have in mind here now is when you end the seal fur in the front you don't want it to be a big huge lump of seal fur since you're gonna add that buried burdock middle wing you need to have like a smooth surface to sit on uh, else it's just gonna point straight up in the air just a little bit more a hint Uh, 
And there you have the body. He has closing all these uh, silver bags. Then we have the tin cell. So I start with the oval tin cell. Tinsel come up. So just trying to follow the line here. Just after the flat silver tinsel. And then it's the hackle's turn. I just verifying and pleased with the pencil. You put the hackle just behind the oval tinsel it's, it protects it and the hacking so to say whoops let's redo that just gonna make sure it is where I want it to be there we go fiber backwards so I can finish off might even be able to zoom a bit there you go so waxing the thread then it's time for the front tackle we're gonna go with the guinea foam. Uh, normally it should be yay. So just preparing the time point of that one. <coughs>
there we are so maxing the thread and then we tie that one in as well so I'm just gonna move the fibers here in the back upwards that yay oh sorry guinea for almost confusing myself a bit of more bags Push the fibers backwards. So there you are. sufficient not too much not too little so just gonna add a bit of thread there so there's no sharp edges from the thin slow nothing and then I'm gonna separate the fibers on the top so I have a good uh, you know placement for the barrel burdock middle wing like that start to prepare the barred wood duck and, and then build the wing as well so I can take that in a few quick steps time to set the, the barred wood duck middle wing um, that's gonna be interesting not done that before and it's uh, See how it turns out.
Hmm. Not that bad, to be honest. Thought it would be much worse. I might be able to work with this. It's not perfect in any way, but since the wing is going on top, I might be able to uh, do something with it. So I build a wing. It's already prepared. So I can just very gently slide that one in place. I think it's going to be doable. reset the position of the wing otherwise the top fibers are going out falling out so just adding some pressure there a little bit Guys, first try. Wasn't harder than that. I'm quite pleased. Then we're going to prepare some sides. Uh, need to look what I need and prepare it, and then we just tie that one in as well. So, sides. Unburied wood duck, teal. We're gonna add mallard. So I'm just gently gonna add them here. Okay, I'm gonna press it in with the GC anyhow. So let's do the mallard instead. <clears throat> So 
It's a nice fishing fly, I would say. So I add quite a lot of mallard to it, a long one, because when I fish with it, it's going to blend in, in in the wing very nicely. I'm just going to pull a little bit here. And the GC, let me see. I do one side at a time. I don't need that long. I'm just going to prepare the feather. There we go. Finger, shatter, we're using a substitute. So I'm just gonna cut that accordingly. There we are. Just cleaning up my desk. One side done. So I'm gonna continue with my side. Just gonna tip that. Looking good. So I do my side off camera, and then uh, it's time for topping and horns. When I get back. To add the topping, the prepared one here. Let me see how that fits. I think you're gonna try to fit the pearl head as well.
just gonna pull a little bit in the head or in the corn sorry now we have equal length almost There we are. Same length. Now I think I just do a normal blackhead on this one. I could add some. Yeah, let's try a hurl head. Just cutting the leftovers from the herd as well as uh, the tank. Maybe I leave the tank there. Just adding plenty of wax. Just need to tie a few things in. There we are. Okay. Go ahead the time now. somewhere else. Let me see if they are here. Prevex the threads, I'm ready.
without touching the camera. We have the hurl head, the Castile bags, all varnish, a bit here, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, but first, I'm just gonna finish up with the thread here. So I can cut that one off. There we go, and then I varnish outside the camera. Try to keep this one short. So, champion is done. Um, turned out uh, quite well, and I like it. Uh, I think I'm gonna add it in my fishing uh, wallet. Uh, it looks uh, very nice for uh, fishing, and they made a tiny one. Uh, so what I uh, try to do with the wing is, um, um, you see that the color uh, matches the length of the color in the tail there. So I wanted them to be the equal length, uh, just for the fun of it. Um, yeah, not bad for my first champion, I, I'm pretty pleased. So I hope you're gonna enjoy the video as well and uh, see you in the next video for sure. And Take care, enjoy the rest of the Sunday, and stay safe and see you in the next video. Bye.